think I would have to classify these wonders as the most beautiful new seeds in my garden. They are the seeds of the Asclepias I bought a few months ago. The label told me nothing, but Google searches promised an exciting seed harvest, and they've delivered. The individual flowers are so tiny, I had no idea what the scale of the seed pods would be. They are four to five centimeters long and start green. They then harden, dry out, and the outer layer peels back and exposes a beautiful French plait of brown seeds, each of which has its own parachute of silvery filaments. They peel away from the pod and wait for the wind to blow them, looking pretty spectacular in the process. November anyway is seed month in a big way. The nigella seeds are in their huge seed pods waiting to pop. The convolvulus seeds start green and then mature brown. The agapanthus seeds have almost all flown already. And it's amazing that there's only one elegant wisteria seed pod after all those flowers. The ceratostigma seeds don't seem to have pods. They just appear and hang off their flowers. While the crocosmia lucifer seeds are beginning to burst from their pods. My new solanum seed pods are as large as green gauges and turn yellow as they mature. Rose hips are obvious seed pods. These are Rosa Glauca, and you can see the Miscanthus grass heads just getting ready to flower and release their seeds. They are so beautiful against a blue sky, or with our low autumn and winter sun shining through them, that I think everyone should invest in at least one beautiful grass.